All right, Dolphins and the Patriots, another good one here. Two young quarterbacks, two attack of low. We're going to line up here against Mac Jones. Maybe we thought it was going to be Cam Newton. Uh Uh-uh. So we'll see how they perform. The Patriots have always been a pretty good home team here, but obviously if you have Tom Brady over the past 20 years, you're going to be a good home and away team. doesn't matter where you play. Tom Brady's going to handle that situation. I'm looking at this game overall, and I'm still going to go with the Patriots with a rookie quarterback because he is at home. I'm going to trust that Bill Belichick and that Patriots defense now that they're healthy off of COVID. He got everybody back with a little bit more weapons on offense. But this would not surprise me, Kyle, in the least, if the Dolphins go in and win this football game. There is a lot of talent in the Miami Dolphins. Flores coming from that Patriots organization. He knows exactly how that team works, and they are loaded for bear. They just need to get good quarterback play out of Tua. But I'm going to go here on a Thursday and ride here with the Patriots to get it done. You know, I'm going to go the other side of this. I'm going to take the Dolphins. I'm going to take the points. They have had success in Foxborough, one of the few teams who have. Stefan, you mentioned the healthy Patriots defense. The one guy who won't be there is probably their best defensive yeah, player, Stefan Gilmore. Do you know who they're replacing him with this week? Do you know? You know this man very, very well. Well, Green how Goblin. Does name, how does the name Jalen Mills ring Green in your Goblin. ear? Oh, Jalen yeah. Mills might be one of the Let's worst go. defensive players to ever grace a uh, football no, field here. Not. He is absolutely dreadful. And when you look on the flip side of this, Miami's secondary is going to be vicious, of course. Byron Jones and Xavier Howard, probably the best one-two combo at defensive back outside of maybe uh, Darius Williams and Jalen Ramsey in L.A. I don't know where the points are going to come from for the Patriots. This is a tough start. This is a good defense. The Dolphins should be able to run the ball here a little bit against the slower Patriots defense. I like the under. The number's so low that it scares me away. I don't know if I can take an under 43 and a half in the NFL anymore, but it wouldn't shock me if the under is hit here. I think this is a close, grinded out, sort of ugly game here. I like the skill position players better for the Dolphins than I do the Patriots. I like that secondary just a little bit more. It's a grind out type of game, so I'll take the points with the Dolphins. Yeah, it's interesting. We'll see if that line moves here. Three, my threes minus 120s, three and a half minus 105s. So that is a huge price point here. It looks like if you want the Dolphins, maybe wait a day or two to get that three and a half because I don't know if it's going to move off of that three in the opposite direction, but something to keep an eye on 